This information is for educational purposes only. It is not intended to substitute for professional medical advice and should not be interpreted to contain treatment recommendations. Hello, my name is Sarah Warmby. I am a certified wound ostomy continence nurse and clinical consultant with Coloplast. This module will include how to use the high output pouch. I have two types of high output pouches here. The first one is our one piece convex high output with a soft outlet. The second one half is a two piece flex with a convex barrier high output pouch with our tap outlet. So I'm gonna go over the features of each one. The first one, again, we have our one piece convex pouch here. That's high output. We have the filter here. This is our pre-filter. This helps catch any thicker particles um, in the stool, in the high output ileostomy stool that will help prevent our charcoal filter from getting clogged up quickly. We also have a measuring guide here. This is a visual cue for patients so that they can monitor their output, especially when they're having high output out of their ileostomy. And then we have a soft outlet. What that means is that this particular outlet can connect to bedside drainage, especially if their stool is pure liquid. This is a great way to uh, keep the patient mobile so that they're able to connect to something while they are um, having their high output. This particular pouch is our two-piece high output flex. Um, same features on this pouch. We have the filter here, visual cue as well to help with measuring. This particular outlet is called a tap outlet. The tap outlet is a little bit wider. This helps with emptying thicker high output stool. So um, this actually can connect to our fecal drainage bag. You may not have this in your facility, but I do want you to keep in mind that there are two different kinds of outlets with our high output pouches. As far as applying the pouch to this flex barrier, after this is completely prepared and cut out to fit the patient, I'm gonna peel off the backing here. You're going to line up the bottom of this pouch with the circular blue line on the landing zone. This landing zone has to be clean and dry prior to applying and doing this step. And they're going to apply. You wanna make sure that you have a good seal all the way around and you can also give it a good tug to make sure it's on there. And if you need to readjust, you can. You just pull in this blue tab. You can peel it off. Again, nice and clean and dry. Line up the back, the bottom, to the line on the bottom, and you can apply this way. Thank you for taking the time to view this module. For additional ostomy education, visit us at coloplast.us.